Hey guys, this is Richard Beck with Beck Tools, back again to run another part. Now, this is the first time I've run this production part with the new machine settings. I am going to attempt to machine this at 235 inches a minute. Up until this time, I've used little end mills and I've gone like 12 inches a minute, full depth slotting. But now that I have this speed, I'm going to take a light cut. Well, I'm going 40,000 steep, so it's not super light but I'm gonna go pretty fast. Hopefully the machine doesn't stall, hopefully the mill end mill doesn't break, and hopefully it doesn't pull out of the ER20 collet. So I've tightened it as tight as I can get, and I have test run it, and it didn't crash, so here goes nothing. <laughs> That went well. This is a light facing. I'm only going 10 thou deep just because the material wasn't flat. And this project product has an O-ring and um, if it's, it had seven thou variation on the face. So I figured I better face it just because. And it's going fast enough, it, it won't matter. The questionable part is the full width slotting I'm about to do after I face it. I've never full width slotted at 230 inches a minute or 235 inches a minute. It says it's going to require one horsepower. So I hope Langmeyer is accurate with her horsepower numbers because I think this machine has one and a half horsepower. So if they're wrong, it's going to stall right here. Nice. So there's 20 thou of the slot remaining. So it's not cutting hardly anything. Now it's cutting again. Hopefully it doesn't load up when I get deeper, but I think this is gonna work. And then it's doing a cleanup pass. Running great. Alright. I'm plunging at five degrees. Figure it's aluminum, why not? The first time I ever ran this part, guys, it took an hour. So I've come a long way. This operation, instead of an hour, I think it's gonna be seven minutes. Kyle, the uh, designer of this product, he actually did a lot of work to shorten the tool path and make it wider. It used to be like 250 some linear inches of slot. Um, now we've gone with a bigger slot, that was his idea, which dramatically reduces the total length of slotting required. The cut looks beautiful. I probably could go deeper, but I'm honestly, it's only seven minutes. Why, why risk it? I want to set this up so I can walk away. In the past, when I was using the small end mill, I had to stand here and constantly blow the slot out because I was slotting so deep. At one time, it did make a funny noise. Hopefully the spindle Hear that? What is that? Ramping down. Oh, that was 
sounds like I'm spinning bearings. Come on, Langmar. Well, if the spindle gets really loud, spindle that went bad was under warranty. I don't think this one is under warranty. Actually, I can promise it's not under warranty. Man. Makes me nervous. I've got orders upcoming. But Langmer's been really good about getting me spare parts, so... I'm sure if I burn up the spindle bearing, Jake will be able to get me apart fast. Unless I'm recutting shifts. hook up the mist cooler to blow the chips out. So I turn the mist coolant on. There's no liquid in it. I'm just using it to evacuate chips. warm up the spindle before I hit go, so it's not like I ran this part on a cold spindle. Sometimes if I'm going to push it hard, I do warm the spindle. Make sure the bearings are tight before I put a lot of load on them. beautiful absolutely beautiful so instead of 
one hour. That was eight minutes and 54 seconds. Anyways, guys, I gotta run and go pick up my kids, so this video is gonna have to end right now. Thanks for watching. Once again, remember, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, ask your questions, and I'll answer them. Thank you. See you later.